Hi, and welcome to the video series for the Beam Data Cloud for Microsoft 365. In this video, we'll be discussing the fixed versus variable licensing models and the details for each of them. Let's go to that demo now. So today we're going to be discussing the licensing models, both fixed and variable. Before we begin, it's important to know that all the videos in this series have to do with the variable licensing model. Because of that, the variable licensing model is also highly recommended by our team because it gives the richest capabilities of automation and the ability to do a little bit more tailoring to your organization, where fixed does not have that. But let's go into each model now. The fixed licensing model provides a fixed number of licenses that administrators must add new users manually into the data cloud environment. So that's the main purpose for this licensing model, is that you have a fixed number of users. So some find this as a pro because they know exactly the build that they're getting each month. To add more licenses, customers must go through another purchasing process. Also, all users with access must have a license when backing up SharePoint sites or Teams public channels. As far as the backup goes for fixed license models, backups are completely managed by Veeam. So for an example, you cannot manage backups for creating new jobs, editing, disabling, or deleting existing jobs. You can't edit retention periods or backup frequency. You could really only control the users and items included in that backup. So that is very different from our variable licensing model, which again is what we recommend customers be on. And the reason why is because objects that fit backup rules are backed up automatically. So administrators can actually manage these backups. For example, they could create new backup jobs, edit, disable, or delete existing backup jobs. They also have the ability to edit retention periods or backup frequency. The billing for the variable licensing model will be a little bit different, however. So there will be an automatic monthly billing for any overages over what you first initially sign on for how many users you have. And that will just be co-termed to the, the contract that you have today. So that is the main difference between the fixed and variable licensing model. Again, all the videos in here that have to do with editing or going through the different parts of the Veeam Data Cloud are more going to pertain to that variable licensing model because that's where you have more power to do those type of actions. For any other questions, please reach out to your customer success team at vdc.customersuccess at veeam.com. Thank you.